tyranny. Get used to this. Get used to this. Your body can't handle this new 5G. It's not built for it. And you've got lots more people than me. That's when they're going to start blaming the second wave. All our kids are going to get dope. So it's a problem. Radiation poisoning. This ain't no virus. There is no coronavirus. They're not treating people with coronavirus. They ain't just Bill Gates, he's saying that we have to have mandatory vaccinations. Until we all do take vaccinations, the whole world is on lockdown. When I deal with people that are anti-5G, they're very frequently anti-vaccine. They're very frequently anti-medicine in the conventional sense. Bill Gates has put an awful lot of his work into vaccinating people in developing countries. We do that because after clean water and sanitation, there is nothing that saves more lives than vaccination. So to accept that 5G is secretly doing us harm. You have to then accept that the WHO and the Center for Disease Control and all these international health protection bodies are lying to us. And as it goes on, you have to accept more and more to preserve your initial belief. And that drives people deeper and deeper into, I'd say, the rabbit hole of, of conspiracy theories. On the point about the 5G masks, the story somehow got back that uh, uh, they play a role in the, in the, the spread of the disease. Uh, that's just nonsense. Dangerous nonsense as well. A, a, a lady approached my van. She said, I know what you're here for, I know what you're doing. You've been hired by the council to basically roll out 5G. She walked further up past the shop and there was a, a group of 10 men. She said, that person, he's the, the cause of everyone dying. But then I could hear foul language, I could hear abuse, I could hear things like murderer, killer. You feel um, very, very frightened and scared. Some people may think of this as a game, some people may think they're right to do this, but um, this is a very serious offence and one that you will go to prison for when we catch you. This is foolish behaviour done by stupid people who don't understand the impact of what their actions are doing to the wider community removing a key means of communication for people who may be vulnerable to get in touch with emergency services or to get in touch with their own loved ones. It's an attack on our national infrastructure. Conspiracy theories give people a certain feeling of power, like there's an explanation. And we've seen this in the past with vaccination stuff. We've seen it with false claims about cancer cures. We're seeing it now with 5G. If you accept 5G conspiracies and you spread them, you are also priming yourself to accept anti-vaccine conspiracy theories, and we know they do huge harm to public health. If you have telecoms engineers being attacked for doing their job based on a lie, based on a myth, there's no way we can justify that as good for everyone.